Welcome to another SOLIDWORKS simulation video with how it's designed. In this example, we're going to try and just bend this paper clip. We're going to run a static analysis in SOLIDWORKS on it, have some fun. Just one example. But before we dive in, guys, make sure you're subscribed, liking the video, sharing it with friends. If you're not a Patreon member, you're missing out. I'm going to have the full content of the SOLIDWORKS videos on there. You'll get exclusive access if you're a member. And don't forget in the description, I'm gonna put a link to a free SOLIDWORKS simulation checklist. Um, so I got a little gift for you guys for viewing this video. Make sure to click on that link in the description. Let's get started. So in this study, we have a paper clip here typical size. We have galvanized steel wire as our material selected. We're ready to go ahead and set up our fixtures to constrain the part initially. So we're going to go to fixtures and in our pre-processing we added some split lines. That'll be a separate video on a tutorial on split lines. But so we're gonna go ahead and say we're holding on to this end. Just for example, we're gonna select these faces on both sides, kind of like a cantilever beam. Let's say we got our thumb and finger, index finger around that end. We're just gonna apply a load at this farther end, just a very light force. Go ahead and hit OK. Now for our external loads, let's go ahead and apply not normal, but a selected direction force. Make sure we're in the right units. Yep, we are. We're going to go ahead. We, it's asking us to select an, a face edge plane first for direction. So we're going to select this split line we did the vertical direction since there are no other edges to this paper clip. Um, very exciting object. So we have edge one selected that acts as our edge there. And we are going to now select the surface to apply our force. We're going to select this end here. So we're pushing down on that end lightly, but we're going to do in the reverse direction. So we'll select over on the left, this checkbox reverse. You can see the arrows flipped around and with a value, let's do just, I don't know, 0.4 pounds, about half a pound. And we'll select the check mark. Okay. Now comes the time where we can apply our mesh. We're going to go ahead and select right click, create mesh. And for our parameters, we're going to do curvature based. We're going to bump this up a bit to 16. Minimum number of elements in a circle. And we'll go ahead and run that. All right, now that our mesh is completely generated, we can go ahead and run the study, which is this menu icon up here. We'll give it a minute or two to do its magic. Excessive displacements, sure. Since the material, since the part is so thin and flexible, we're going to get large displacement mode on. All right, the results are in. We've got our min and max von Mises stress, max being about 69 KSI. We've got this purple at the top of the graph. We color coded 
anything above yield to be purple so you can see where the paper clip is failing here right after we the area where we fixed the other end in this region here we've got our yield strength set to 29 ksi so anything above that failure Let's go ahead and look at the displacement now on this far end. All right, looking at the displacement plot here, we got on this far end maximum displacement 0.04 inches, so almost a sixteenth. Is it a sixteenth? Yeah, almost a sixteenth of an inch on this far end. And if we want, we can try and animate the result. go ahead and slow it down you can see how it's bending on that far end you got the min and max showing on that far end here pretty neat and that'll do it for this example guys of running a static simulation in SolidWorks on a paperclip something different but something so commonly that we use in everyday life. Um, I'm going to do other examples of this analysis in future videos. So make sure you're subscribed. Join my Patreon for exclusive SolidWorks content if you haven't already. And like I said, you get a free guide if you hit the link in the description on basic SolidWorks FEA. Thank you so much, guys, for viewing this. We'll see you next time.